going on guys? Fishing a flare here with the MTB Pro Box for the month of June and I'm here in beautiful South Dakota catching smallmouth. Me and my buddy Matt, we're going to do a little 1v1 challenge taking the baits in this box to see who can catch the biggest smallmouth in one hour. It is the one hour smallmouth challenge. These are the baits in the box. Alright, so in the box we've got, ooh, this guy right here. So we got a Lucky Craft Gunfish. This is going to be my bait for uh, to start a little topwater action. We got up nice and early, as you guys can tell. The sun's just coming up, so we got a topwater. Now we've got an Optimum Baits little swim bait. And we've got some okay. We got some Liquid Mayhem a little little sauce on there. Then we've got let's see some Lunker City Sluggo right there. Just a little nice little stick bait. You could wacky rig, Texas rig, whatever you want to do. Then. We've got, let's see, the original Pilot X Lucky John. It's a little crankbait, and it's actually a Mystery Tackle Box exclusive, so you can only get this bait in a Mystery Tackle Box. Then we've got this guy right here, little Biospawn Vilecraw. And then we got the uh, Dibbles Digest here, it says what's in your box. And then we've got a nice little sticker. So that's what we've got to work with. We got two boxes here, me and Matt. We get each that basically that those baits to work with for an hour so you can catch the biggest smallmouth. The challenge starts now. Dude, throw in there, throw in there. That was a giant. That was a giant. If that was a smallmouth, yeah. oh my goodness, that was a freaking toad. Kachow it. Come on. Got him. He got him. Kachowed it. He kachowed it. Oh, dude, it's a good one, too. It's a good one. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, he's running the weeds. He's running the weeds. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Don't, don't come off. I need the net. I need the net. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. All right. Scoop that girl up. Woo! Finally. Yes. Look at that, folks. The old top water. Finally crunched it. That thing bit by the tree three times, and I finally bombed one in the back of the boat and caught it. That's what we're here for, is these little small jaws, super aggressive. We're, we're having a little bit of an issue with the landing ratio today, but I will take that little dude on. The old gunfish, that is one fish for me. That is a nice, chunky little football. We're about 25 minutes into this challenge. Bass number one in the boat. See you, buddy. So I caught the one topwater fish. Matt is gonna make the switch though. He's gonna throw this little sluggo rigged up like this on a drop shot. Since we're finding all these bed fish, a drop shot is a great way to catch them. And uh, with this color in particular, you're gonna be able to see it. So you're, you're gonna be able to sight fish with them. So you'll throw it in there. When the, uh, when the chartreuse disappears, that means you got a fish. There you go, he caught it. He got the bed fish. There you go, all right. That's hooked up. Now it's going to be one to one if you can land it. That's the yeah, fish. Yeah. You caught that one off the bed. No, I got it. Bring it to Papa. Caught the bed fish on the sluggo. Woo! There we go. Look at that. So now it is one to one. Matt, we just saw that fish on the bed. You can see it's got a little bit of a bloody tail on it. And uh, Matt cast right behind the boat. And barely. Just, just jacked. Yeah, just barely hooked him. So that was one to one. That's good. On the drop shot rig. Perfect. There's too many busting with smallmouth around here. That one looks like a bigger one. I'm gonna throw out that one. All right, let's see. He showed himself. Let's see if he wants to eat it. Oh, there we go. We're hooked up. We're hooked up. There we go. There we go. Yep. That's fish number two. He showed himself. And then he came back. He came back for it. We're you seeing these fish basically just like wake around up shallow because they're on beds. And if you pull off on the bed a little bit, throw your little top water. Yeah. Let's see here. Yeah, I'll just flip him in here. We're good. He ain't too big, but I'll take him though. Feisty little guy. Get in here. Oh, I love the I love the ones that are like super wide on the bottom. They look really cool. That right there on the on the top water again. So both fish I believe I've caught, I've seen before, not even like visually, but just seen them like splash and then back the boat off a little bit and cast it in there. And they are, they're crunching this thing. We're having a much better luck on the shade versus the sunny spot that we started on. There we go. That is fish number two for me. It is one to two and we got about 
25 minutes left of the challenge. Here we go. Is that a fish? Yep, that's one. There you go. Oh, goodness. I think you got the big one. I think you got the big one. Uh-oh, he's running right at us. Uh-oh, let me get the net on this one. Uh oh, you're about to you're about to tie it up for two to two. Is it a big one? Yeah. I think it's I think it's actually a big one. Oh man. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. Here we go. The drop shot. The drop shot, baby. Oh. Look at that. Oh my gosh. There we go. That is that's fish number two for Matt. It's tied. Uh oh! Oh, it's a big one! Oh it's a big one! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! You got the big one. You got the big one. Oh my gosh! There's another one. There's another one. Is there? There's another one. Oh yes! Oh yes! There's another one. There's another one with it. There's another one with it, dude. There's three of them. There's three of them. There's three big ones. Three big ones. Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Oh gosh! There was three big ones, literally. Oh my gosh! I got a tie. I got a tie. Look at he's right there. Look at the other one. The other one's sitting down there. Just watching them. Just literally watching them. All right, let's lay in this fish and catch the dude, rest of them. See him? This guy's just running. I can't. This is. Oh, there's another one, dude. dude there's, there's like. Look at right here. Can you see the one chasing yeah, it still? Yeah. This is a bit. This is absolutely insane. All right, get this guy in so we can catch the rest of them. Oh my gosh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh Ooh. my god. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, right here. We we need to we need to chill for a second because there's like five big big smallmouth oh just just sitting here. Absolutely insane. I've never seen that. I've never seen four giant smallmouth all together. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that is crazy. The freaking slug go, guys. The slug go. That's insane. They are crunching this thing. I gotta do it. I gotta tie the drop shot on. I'm done. I'm done with the top water. It's drop shot time. Here we go. Got him. Wow. Yeah, you know what? Honestly, I think this deserves the win right here. This is why we come to South Dakota for these massive fish. Well, that's three, and you have three, so it's a tie. Right now, we literally have like four minutes left of this event, so it's a tie. I gotta catch another one to beat Matt. He's definitely got me beat on the big fish, though. I don't know. This guy might be might give you that the biggest one you've had. This guy will give you a run for your money, but biggins only. Well, folks, that is the end of the one hour MTB challenge. It was a tie. We both caught, what, three? Yep, three. We both caught three. He kicked my butt, though, for the biggest fish. So I'm going to give Matt the dub on this one. But the slug goes and the walking gunfish were the two baits of choice today. It worked out well. We were using the top water to find fish and catch a few. But then once we saw the fish on beds, flip a little drop shot in there and we were able to capitalize on some big fish. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Stay tuned for the next one. Peace.